I have a dear friend who, in the early years of his marriage, was convinced he and his family needed a four-wheel drive pickup truck. His wife was sure that he did not need but merely wanted the new vehicle. A playful conversation between this husband and wife initiated their consideration of the advantages and disadvantages of such a purchase. Sweetheart, we need a four-wheel drive truck. She asked, why do you think we need a new truck? He answered her question with what he believed was the perfect response. What if we needed milk for our children in a terrible storm? <laughs> and the only way I could get to the grocery store was in a pickup. His wife replied with a smile, if we buy a new truck, we won't have money for milk. <laughs> so why worry about getting to the store in an emergency? Over time, they continued to counsel together and ultimately decided to acquire the truck. Shortly after taking possession of the new vehicle, my friend wanted to demonstrate the utility of the truck and validate his reasoning for wanting to purchase it. So he decided he would cut and haul a supply of firewood for their home. It was in the autumn of the year, and snow already had fallen in the mountains where he intended to find wood. As he drove up the mountainside, the snow gradually became deeper and deeper. My friend recognized the slick road conditions presented a risk. But with great confidence in the new truck, he kept going. Sadly, my friend went too far along the snowy road. As he steered the truck off of the road at the place he had determined to cut wood, he got stuck. All four of the wheels on the new truck spun in the snow. He readily recognized that he did not know what to do to extricate himself from this dangerous situation. He was embarrassed and worried. My friend decided, well, I will not just sit here. He climbed out of the vehicle and started cutting wood. He completely filled the back of the truck with the heavy load. And then my friend determined he would try driving out of the snow one more time. As he put the pickup into gear and applied power, he started to inch forward. Slowly, the truck moved out of the snow and back onto the road. He finally was free to go home, a happy and a humbled man.